everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be another match analysis video. You guys enjoyed the one I did last time so I thought why not do another. So last week I played in the England squash challenge. You had to have under five England caps to compete. So I was able to play and with the draw system it was four girls in each group and you play for your position and then have a playoff match at the end. And I came third. I really couldn't be bothered to cut up another match video. Um, thankfully PSA already posted the highlights online and so I've stolen them from PSA. But they said it was fine obviously. I played my first two matches on the glass back round the side and I played Alice Green and Anna Kimberley. Uh, I won them both 3-love and 3-1. I was really happy with how I competed and played. Um, it was a little tricky now going onto the glass court from just training on the hard backs as the courts are all so different there. But uh, yeah, here we go. I'm going to take you through my match with Millie Tomlinson. So I'm going to take you through my match against Millie Tomlinson. I lost 3-11-9 in the fifth. Um, and yeah, here we go. So as you can see, I went 4-1 down in the first, which is not a great start really, is it? I um, was very frantic the first this first game especially, I was just thumping the ball around and it really wasn't going anywhere. She was very... I wasn't actually getting any height on the ball whatsoever. It was all very much under the short line, which wasn't great at all. It ended up causing me to be put under a lot of pressure against her. And she was very... At this point, she was very good at dominating the tee and just volleying as much as possible, which and getting the ball very much so into the back corners. So here I went 6-1 down again as you can see. There we go, I hit a hard loose shot into the middle and she's put it away straight away. So here I went 7-2 down. As you can see from the score line, the way I was playing really cost me. I was getting no depth, no width whatsoever and because of this she was putting me under so much pressure and it really, it really showed in the score line here. Here, even that's a perfect example at 10-2 down. I really messed up by hitting the ball, my return right into the middle of the court and she put the ball away straight away. Okay, second game, one love. This, at the start of this game, I was really trying to get a really good width and depth, but as you can see there, I really struggled in that point to get the depth and she was able to have a number of options on that boast, which she played a boast, but she could have played a drive and a cross court and I wouldn't have known. So I went 9-5 down here again. On this court it was so important to get that good width and depth otherwise it was really easy for them to have a number of options there. I did it actually really well and it managed. I managed to keep in the rally because of this. Um, that was a great shot. I, yeah that was a great hold in the cross court flick by Millie. I, she, I hit it so loose that she, so she had actually quite a few options of what she could play and I gave her a lot of time on that ball. 10-5. That was my speciality shot in this match. I played that a few times and it was something I did really well. There, that was a perfect example of what I said before with the lift and getting the depth. Twice there I did it and it really helped and gave me a lot of more time on the ball. That drop shot wasn't good enough. I got on it quick but I let it drop quite a lot and I ended up showing Millie very early on that I was going to play a drop shot so she read what I was doing straight away. I made such a poor error there. I could have just played a simple cross court lift or a straight drive and I'd have still been in the rally but instead I made such a poor error. Better start of the game here. I started to feel a lot more comfortable on the court and I started to get my tactics a bit better. That was a poor volley, but she didn't execute it that well, so I was able to carry on in the rally. That was a great volley from me, just punching it back deep off her loose return from the short ball. I also felt like I was moving a lot better in this game and started to see the ball a lot better. I felt like I was moving particularly well now in this game. I was lifting the ball really nicely, I felt. I was moving onto it quite early and it really helped. That's, that's a perfect example of what I've discussed. I forced her to hit a weak boast, but I still decided to lift. There I played 
I played a drop from behind her, but it didn't ex I didn't execute it well enough, so she got onto it quickly and was able to put in a tight counter drop. I've seen this rally quite a lot already, as PSA and England Squash posted it on their Twitter, but um, I felt a lot more comfortable in the court. I was lifting really well, and I felt like I was doing myself a lot more justice in, in this game. I felt like I was lifting really well at, in this part of the game, it was giving me a lot more time on the ball and a lot more time to get back and get ready for the next shot. Um, there I should have got my racket prep up a lot more. I felt like I was very late and that caused me to frame the shot a lot. That was a perfect lob. I got under the ball really well and used a lot of height on the wall and it died in the back corner and finished the rally. 7-10 to me. I was started to volley a lot more also and up the pace a lot more. I felt confident on there so I was volleying, got up and volleying a lot more. There she hit quite a loose shot and I held the ball for quite a long time and flicked it cross court which allowed myself to win the rally. Okay, fourth game I went 4-1 down. I feel like Millie after the third responded really well with her change of her tactics and I was I didn't keep up with it and I started very poorly. She started to lift the ball a lot more as you can see and put it onto my backhand. That was a great cross court. She put the ball up onto my volley and I hit a nice cross court fade. 3-4. I got it back quite well here. Um, I think I defended the ball quite nicely again and started to up the pace but when I up the pace it doesn't mean necessarily just hitting it hard all the time. I feel like that really worked really nicely where I lifted, lifted in the front um, in my front backhand area and then they would try and lift it back over. If they didn't get it spot on, I was up on the volley and I am quite confident on my volley backhand volley drop. So I quite like that partnership with the lob and the volley drop. From 4-1 down, I felt like the, moment, the momentum really shifted. I started playing a lot more freely and as you can see here, I got, I scored, not scored, I gained seven points to her one point as I went 7-5 up, so I was feeling really confident on there and I started playing a lot more attackingly and playing a lot more short into the rally. I started to use, as you can see, that cross court fade quite a lot. As you can see there, I felt like she gave up a slightly by putting the ball straight into the tin from a return of serve and that took us into the fifth game. 2-1. I was feeling quite nervous at this point, but I still felt quite confident because I was still playing quite well. I was still trying to volley as much as I could and carry on how I was going in the last two games. 6-5. It was neck and neck the whole way through this game. Um, it was really nervy. I was trying my hardest not to make any errors or force anything. I was trying to be really really aggressive but still not trying to force anything too much. There was quite a lot of there was quite a lot riding on this game as we were both on the same amount of points in the league system and it was gonna determine whether we play in the final or third or fourth place. Here she's hit a really good length and then partnered it with a really nice straight drop as that that worked really well at times when I really didn't get my length right on my the backhand side. Seven six to Millie. Here I was just thinking just keep lifting and just keep putting as much pressure as you can. There I hit a really fluky frame and I was, as you can see, I was smiling so much because it was I needed that so bad. And that did, she was not happy about it. 7 all. There I thought, I feel like I forced the ball there a bit early. I should have maybe just hit the ball to the back and maybe prolonged it and I hit another frame. Sorry Millie about this but gotta take it, don't you? I had a review overturned at 9 all, which led me to go 10-9 down. She, she played really well at the back end of this match, um, and I felt, I don't, honestly, I don't know why I even tried to ask for that shot. It was, it was one of those heat in the moment things. I was so, my brain was so rushed, and I was thinking that it was gonna obviously be a let, and it was gonna be fine, and I knew fully well after after I watched this back and spoke to like a few of the other players, we all knew fully well it was not going to be a let or a stroke. It was an obvious no let. Sometimes with the tension in the match, um, 
in especially in the fifth game it is it can really cause you to have some really odd decision making as you can see here i don't even know why i asked for this let i was so disappointed afterwards because i spoke with my coach and so many of the other players and we all everyone agreed that it was like the most stupid thing I just should never have asked for it and I should have just played the ball. This is definitely something I need to learn from and to never do again. So that's the end of my me versus Millie analysis. Um, I personally thought I didn't play that badly. I felt like I was a bit poor in the first two games but once I started using my tactics right and get more into it I felt like I started to play really well and really showed a lot of improvements to my game which I had worked on for quite a while. I was obviously really disappointed and gutted to lose in the 5th 11-9. It's never nice to lose after a really close game and especially against someone that's a lot higher ranked than you and you had such an amazing opportunity to do well. I'm really glad that I got stuck in, came back from 2 love down and lost narrowly in the 5th. I feel like I gained a lot from that whereas in the past that I would have definitely been the one to be losing that three love. I was pleased about how I thought about it a lot more and how I tactically got myself back into the match. So that's the end of my video. I just want to say a huge thanks to England Squash for putting this event on. It was so nice for us to be able to play an event and get some good matches against each other. But here, thank- oh, I sadly didn't make it into Blackball. I'm sure there'll be another event soon for me to play. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Please smash a huge thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers guys!